with uh, Stevie Martins at the center ice the Antiola line will open up for Rockford and not only is this uh, series we said the home ice team has won every game but four of the six games have finished in one goal decisions there have been a couple of overtime games with these get together so two very good teams and usually they're pretty evenly matched so here we go and right off the draw they drop the glove Schultz is jumped by Versteeg and they're hammered away I quite honestly was watching the puck in the near side. I did not see at all how that started. And boy, were they ever flailing away. Versteeg got a couple of shots in late as Schultz went down. Not sure if he just lost his balance. I think most of these punches, you can see both guys chuckling. I think uh, we're all helmets. Versteeg definitely on top. Uh, got a bunch of shots in, but I think on top of the old noggin. Jesse Schultz, uh, you can see he's having a smile. Good left by Schultz, but he falls down, loses his balance, and I don't think any of these are doing any damage. Well, what a start. The message they wanted to send with four <laughs> seconds left in the last meeting gets sent with eight seconds gone. Shrieking place, he was almost to the top of his crease, and a nice intercept. Lewis. Hold it to Rog, Mountain Rink, wide, Quaid Kowski. Bring it, he scores! Joel Quaid Kowski, another power. Tying a Wolves record, Andy Delmore with a record, although he didn't play the full year with the Wolves, played the majority of his time elsewhere before coming around the deadline. I think Crawford, if you watch the expression from Crawford after the puck enters the net, he does not see this. Jim Fahey in the lane, the shoulder strike, you see the arms go up like, I couldn't see that. But what a blast when anyone can shoot the puck like Kwiatkowski got a screen. If he hits the net, it's going to be in. Shift it to the right side and it bounced back to center. It's going to be a two on two. Sterling racing in there, has Little with him. There's Brian Little. Sterling open net. What a give and go. Brett Sterling finished it from Little. Two nothing. How about that speed? This line continues to have success because of their ability to let the puck do the work and get themselves into open areas. Brett Sterling. Able to gain the line as he gained the puck through the neutral zone, pushing back the defense with the speed. This is it off and flies right by. And in return is there. Almerson, the defenseman, ha had it played well. I don't think he could do too much more because he didn't have a lot of support, stayed in the middle, but the feed itself was perfect. And of course, you got to drive to the net to open things up. And of course, Sterling did that. Crawford had to face the shot, thinking it was coming that way. A little bit more forceful on a four check. Mm -hmm. His pass didn't connect him. Comes right back to him. we will go to the Wolves on the four check. Stokes pressured in behind. Coughed it off. A center pass. And Sterling, they score. Brian Little and Brett Sterling made it happen. These two have been dynamite tonight. And the Wolves four check leads to a 3 nothing lead. How about that? Just talking exactly about that. Not laying back. And Stokes nonchalant in his return behind the net. And he had no idea you need more communication from Corey Crawford in this situation. Sterling all over strips the puck away in the back end and give credit to Little. He beats everybody first to the net. Head up, knows what's happening. Nesbitt, I believe, is the second man coming in. And he's late, no one around. And an easy goal because it was so quick. Crawford had no chance. Don't have to play that. Could have been costly. Now Versteeg with a keep in. Mickle. Runs it to the corner. Frazier looks back to Versteeg along one timer. Now got oh, it did get into the net. It deflected, I think, at least twice. It looked like it was going to get tipped to go away wide. All of a sudden, it was in the back of the goal. It hit Bickle, Pat. Ryan Bickle watching the play and actually just standing there to see, trying to find where the puck was going after the funny shot from the point. And it hits him, I believe, in the chest. And drops in behind Pavlik, who was out on top of his crease. Fraser back. The one-time shot is up in the air. Yeah, it hits Bickle in the chest. He's turning to his right. It glances off him. So for Steak's shot, you can see it hit initially off a of Wolf's shaft, I believe. Move right and then into the midsection of Bickle. Pavlik never picked it up. Well, that is a power play goal for the Hogs. And now it's 
two goal Chicago lead. Stokes back. Held in by Fahey. Giroux out of the corner. Haydar's back for Giroux right in. Trying to stick him with the goal. Could not. Here's Kroc putting it in front. Fahey. He's a huge goal with two consecutive power plays. I think, you know, the next one's going against the Wolves, so they desperately needed to score a goal to regain the three-goal margin. Alexander Giroux, I'm thinking, drive to the net here, drive to the net, create something. He's able to do that. He's got that fancy move that he makes in tight. He was able to do that, take Crawford with him, but lost control. And then I believe Krog from behind the goal collects the puck and head up all the way. What a nice pass. He goes through all the players, back to Faye, the last man. He rifles it top shelf with everybody trying to block it. No chance for Corey Crawford. So the second power play goal of the game for the Wolves. They're 19th against Rockford. I saw, excuse me, a seven point lead over Rockford. Look at those Wolves fans, a bunch of them coming uh, by way of the fan club tonight and excellent contingent they'll have a happy ride home although a short one <laughs> well nice. good by the time they get back not every place will be closed <laughs> yes <laughs> three two Murphy took a little run along the boards oh, knock down Schultz but the clock winds down at the Chicago Wolves with a spectacular 4-1 victory tonight and really all contribute but how much fun has it been watching that guy play goal wow in the last six games he's appeared in the Wolves have won all six and seven goals against how much better can you get you, you really can you talk about guys getting into zones and the whole team has been in a zone now for seven straight that ties the longest streak I believe of the year for victories and to do that and be where you're at you need solid goaltending Andre Pavlik has been spectacular he's been uh, given a break here and there by Robert Garrison the last time he played out a shutout. So goaltending is definitely a key. And Pavlik uh, has been able to see pucks. You, you can tell when goalies are struggling. A lot of times they look around and they almost blame in situations when goals go in. But he has been able to visualize what has been coming at him and has been so good in front. And boy, does that give you a lot of confidence as a team.